Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 3rd of October. Keeping close watch on LAC, China-Pakistan technology transfer says Indian Air Force Chief. World Bank boosts the Sri Lanka economic forecast after inflation progresses. And Bangladesh dengue deaths top 1,000 in worst outbreak. And now for all the details. Addressing the annual press conference ahead of the Air Force Day celebrations, Indian Air Force Chief Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary on Tuesday said India is constantly monitoring the situation along its borders, especially in eastern Ladakh as disengagement with China at the LAC remains pending. Terming the geopolitical situation as volatile and uncertain, the Air Force Chief said the situation has reinforced the need for a strong military. Answering a query on collaboration between China and Pakistan on GF-17 fighter aircraft, he said India is keeping track of the developments which will be countered by numbers and better technology. He further said the country's operational plans are dynamic and keep changing based on the situation with I. AF as a fulcrum to project India's military might in the region. Situation continues to remain what it was um, in the last one year. There have been certain um, disengagements at certain uh, um, contested areas, but a complete disengagement has not yet taken place. So we will continue to remain deployed as we were till complete disengagement takes place. So, where uh, we technology ka सामना टेक्नोलॉजी से कर सकते हैं हम कोशिश करेंगे पर जहां पे नहीं हो सकता है हमारी ट्रेनिंग और न्यू टैक्टिक्स हमेशा कंटीन्यूअसली इवॉल्व होते रहेंगे जैसे हमें पता चला है कि दोनों साइड में अभी सिमिलर टाइप की कैपेबिलिटी है तो हमारे टैक्टिक्स में भी बदलाव आया है and the U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller has urged the Indian government to cooperate with Canada in its investigations into the death of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar, as he said Washington is in close coordination with Ottawa over the allegations against India. Bilateral ties between India and Canada came under severe strain following Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's allegations of involvement of Indian agent in the killing of Nijjar in June. However, New Delhi has rejected the allegations as absurd and motivated and expelled a senior Canadian diplomat in a tit-for-tat move to Ottawa's expulsion of an Indian official over the case. India has also temporarily suspended its visa services in Canada and issued an advisory for its citizens to be extra conscious. Moving on, Baloch and Pashtun activist exposed Pakistan's policy to sponsor terrorism and rights violations in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. A report. Baloch and Pashtun political activist raised the issue of enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings by Pakistan in Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa during the UNHRC session in Geneva recently. They exposed Pakistan's state sponsorship of terrorism and said its army wants chaos and a reign of terror to prevail, while ethnic Baloch in Pakistan are being killed so that they don't disrupt its interest. Logo ko uthana, unko torture karna, uske ilawa target killing karna, aur uske ilawa bham dama ke karna. Aur sabse aham baad ye ho rahi hai ke Pakistan army apne hi civilian idaron ko attack kar rahi hai. आपने वो पिशावर में पुलिस का धमाका देखा होगा ये इन्हीं के ताउन से हो रहा है पाकिस्तानी मिलिट्री के ताउन से हो रहा है क्योंकि वो एक्सेस देते हैं टेररिस्ट को वो चले जाते हैं ताकि ये इस इलाके में ये चाहते हैं कि क्रिएट के हो Activist Munir Mengal, citing last week's blast in Balochistan's Mastang and in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, blamed that Pakistan is involved in these terror attacks as it wants to eliminate dissenting voices in the region. कि आप एनालाइज करें ये जो टेररिस्ट एक्ट्स हो रहे हैं जहां पर ब्लास्ट होते हैं खासतौर पर लार्ज नंबर में लोगों को खत्म करना होता है वो बलुस्तान में होते हैं या खैबर पख्तूनख्वा में क्यों उन जगहों पर उन उन इलाकों में हो रहे हैं जहां के लोग हकूमत पाकिस्तान को नहीं चाहिए वो इन तंजीमों को ग्रूम कर रही है उनको जो है ना ट्रेनिंग सहूलतें दे रही है और उसके बाद उनको वहाँ पर यूज़ करती है जहाँ इनके मकासद हैं बलुस्तान में खैबर पख्तूनख्वा में 
या कश्मीर में या इंटरनेशनली ग्लोबली कहीं पर भी इनकी इंटेंशन हो and hundreds of people recently took to the streets in Muzaffarabad in Pakistan occupied Kashmir to protest inflated electricity bills and other basic issues however they had to face bait and charging by the police a report a massive protest was held by hundreds of locals and political activists in Muzaffarabad in Pakistan occupied Kashmir this past weekend against inflated power bills and other issues the protesters said they are fed up of price hikes and unfair taxes being imposed on them, while they are not being provided any subsidy or relief, which has made survival difficult, especially for the poor. सेक्रेट में भी नहीं है लेकिन हमारे पास पांच हजार गाड़ियां हैं वो खरीदने के लिए पैसे हैं लेकिन हमारे लिए साफ पीने का पानी बिजली फ्राम नहीं की जा सकती है हमारे लिए आटा सब्सिडी नहीं दी जा सकती है तो आज ये चिंतारी लगी है ये आजाद और कम्बल की नहली जरूरत की लूट कुसूर के पास चिंतारी � the protesters had to, however, face bait and charging by the police. Locals have long claimed they are subject to brute force whenever they express dissent. They say they are ruled by stooge authorities who only help Islamabad fill its treasuries through economic depredations. Moving on, the World Bank revised up its forecast for Sri Lanka's economy on Tuesday, noting the crisis hit nation had made strides in reducing inflation and had benefited from tourism revenue as well as an appreciation in its currency. The bank now expects the economy to expand 1.7% in 2024, up from an earlier forecast of 1%. The island nation has seen runaway inflation drop to 1.3% in September, its currency appreciate by about 12% and foreign exchange reserves improve. But the World Bank said growth prospects will depend on progress with debt restructuring as well as growth enhancing reforms. Sri Lanka struck an IMF agreement for $2.9 billion bailout package in March, but a potential shortfall in government revenue has meant that a second tranche of funds may be delayed. Well, the death toll from Bangladesh's worst dengue outbreak on record has topped 1,000 this year, official data has revealed, with hospitals struggling to make space for patients as the disease spreads rapidly in the densely populated country. According to figures published by the Directorate General of Health Services, 1,006 people have died from dengue amongst more than 200,000 confirmed cases of the mosquito-born disease. The current death toll is nearly four times more than the whole of last year when Bangladesh recorded 281 dengue-related deaths. Hospitals are struggling to find space for the large number of patients suffering high fever, joint pain and vomiting while there is a shortage of intravenous fluids. सेठ तो बोलते भरी नहीं हैं। शौका अलग वाला बालों में उस फेरी से रात पे बयान उठे थे सुख मुक्कर उम्मीद के से दौर से पर ऐसे पर नहीं लम इस जगह ऐने ऐने निचे काबिर पर बड़ी लो डेंगू इसे। आखर रुकी कम लो। ढाकर बाहरे और ना नॉनसेल थे के रुकी शंका प्रमाण को तो बड़े जाते हैं। जब आसक्त है परिश्रम में जो दिया अपना के दे ही आसक्त हमारे चोर में जो नोटों रुकी भरती है जो कहते चौबीस घंटे जिकने एक उड़ जन रुकी आश्चर्य जरा ढाकर बाहरे और ना ना जलते हैं। एक तो उद्भव के विषय well, there is no vaccine or drugs that specifically treats dengue, which is common in South Asia during the June to September monsoon season, as the Aedes aegyptis mosquito, which spreads the disease, thrives in stagnant water. And after a hiatus of nearly three months, the first toy train departed for its journey on the Kalka Shimla train line. The railway line, which was declared the UNESCO's World Heritage Line in 2008, had been ferociously uprooted while a girder bridge collapsed following a series of landslides and torrential rain in August. While the trains were resumed till Tara Devi on September 26th following the restoration work, the full service on the railway line has now become operational. The narrow gorge train service, which passes through picturesque scenery, is one of the main attractions for the tourists visiting Himachal Pradesh. इस ब्रिज के कारण ये 14 अगस्त से बंद था। जब 14 अगस्त को फ्लड आया ना, तब से बंद था। और अब ये 14 अगस्त से कंटिन्यू काम चला के, बल्कि 26 से एनडीआरएफ काम कर रही थी ना, तो उन्होंने क्लियर दिया तो 26 से हमने सुरक्षा 26 अगस्त से, तो ये कल इसका ट्रायल कर दिया और कल फिट हो गया है।
Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.